Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to patch or update SQL Server with multiple availability groups. In this demo, we'll be taking these steps in order to finish this process. And these steps are one, two, three, number six. Before we get into these steps, let me show you the scenario real quick. Right here is the scenario. We have three replicas, replica one, two, and three. And each replica is primary and secondary at the same time for different availability groups right here as you can see replica 2 is AG2 and AG3 and replica 3 is AG1 and AG2 so we have multiple availability groups that is divided among these replicas 1 2 and 3 basically uh, in this scenario uh, right here are the steps that we're going to take number one is free up replica 3 and patch or update so that means that I'm taking basically uh, an approach and best practice that never ever uh, patch or update uh, that replica that holds primary uh, availability group. So in our case right now, every one of them is holding a primary. So every one of them, if this is the secondary for AG1, this is also the primary for AG3. So how we, how we will go ahead and um, update or patch these replicas. The first one up here when I talk about free up replica 3, that means that I don't want any availability group that is primary. On this replica so our main uh, first step would be that on this guy that we want to patch that move this availability group fail over this availability group to its second secondary so this will become secondary and it'll move to its primary our application will remain online when we move um, just a little bit downtime uh, keep in mind that in this scenario there would be a little bit downtime but but o only the down downtime would be when we are uh, failing availability groups so in in this case let's um, in this case we're gonna go and fail over availability group 3 uh, to its primary and make this secondary and same with replica 2 uh, and in the end we will do replica 1. So let me show you that uh, what uh, uh, setup I have in SQL Server Management Studio. Right here is my SQL Server Management Studio. As you can see that CLT01 is one replica, CLT02 is another replica and TBS SQL UAT is another replica. Three replicas on, and each replica is primary and secondary at the same time for different availability groups. So what we're going to do, we're going to start from CLT02. This is the replica that I want to update first. So our main approach is that we're going to move this availability to right here, AG2, which is primary, uh, to make it secondary so that every availability group in this replica would be secondary and that's the only way that we can uh, basically the best practice is that we should uh, make this secondary and then update this and keep in mind that if your primary goes down you are looking uh, for your application downtime a whole lot downtime than you should have uh, if you follow the best practice so let's go ahead and fail over availability group right here to it's secondary this is the secondary and it is going to become primary in a little bit so let's connect with that connect and next finish let's click on more detail to look at the progress okay click OK as you can see now this replica CLT02 is available for us to patch because nothing is primary on this server right here as you can see that availability groups AG2 is secondary AG3 is secondary so our application had a little bit downtime but they are up and running and we are free to go ahead and patch our uh, CLT02 so let's go ahead and just take a look on the health of these replicas right now the data movement is paused as you can see that is suspended let's go ahead and resume the data movement click OK all right everything looks okay let's go ahead and take a look on the primary side of this so this is the primary and I'm gonna right click and refresh availability groups and take a look of the primary right here let me check the ag3 this is the primary uh, secondary and right here is the general ledger let me take a look on 
here this is marketing and availability group 2 and that is general ledger so everything seems to be okay the data is flowing and our application is online now we're ready to patch CLT02 once we uh, patch CLT02 then we're gonna see that what uh, how it impacts our availability group hopefully uh, it won't have any impact on our availability group but if if it would then we need to start uh, stop right away and uh, uh, go back to our uh, test environment and test and then come to production so let's go ahead and uh, let me see this is CLT01 and this is CLT02 so I'm gonna go and get my patch which is right here this is the Windows patch that I want to install um, and this is since every availability group on this replica is secondary this is ready for us so let's go ahead right click and start installing this patch in this demo this patch doesn't take really long that's why I chose this but a uh, basic idea behind this demo is uh, uh, we'll walk you through the steps that how you want to do that whether it's a SQL Server SP2 C, uh, uh, any CU you wanted to apply or any big Windows patch that you wanted to apply uh, these are the steps that you wanted to take and it will be, uh, basically reduce your downtime and also it follows the best practices so let's go ahead and close this as you can see that this patch is um, applied successfully on our CLT02 let's go back to our availability group and refreshes that the general ledger is still online and it's still primary let's go ahead on our secondary let me refresh this so this is all secondary everything is working fine so far So our availability to uh, AG2 is working fine. So now what we can do is free up another replica which we should basically follow um, TBS UAT and free this up and then we're going to go ahead and um, patch this up. So let's go ahead and uh, move our availability group where uh, we moved before like this, we made this primary. Now the AG2 we are going to fail over to see that if our uh, um, patch has impacted our availability group so I'm going back to CLT02 that is patched I'm gonna click finish look at more detail click close and now this has become secondary let's refresh and let's take a look on the data movement it is suspended let's resume data movement and now we will go and look at our CLT2 see if the primary has come online without any issues so we're looking at AG2 at this moment everything seems to be online all the replicas are online so the patching on CLT worked fine CLT02 I'm sorry so let's go ahead and patch CLT01 now I'm gonna go ahead and move AG3 remember our main target is nothing none of the availability groups should be primary on on the replica that you're going to uh, patch or update so we're gonna right click on that fail over click next and CLT02 CLT UAT is the uh, secondary repl uh, replica at this moment for AG3 but it is going to be primary soon click on uh, failover with potential data loss accept that connect with CLT02 CLT UAT next next
Now AG3 is failing over and it will become primary. Let's close this and as you can see that, it, I'm sorry, it will become uh, secondary um, on CLT01. As you can see, uh, availability groups, all the availability groups are secondary. That means this uh, CLT01, this replica is ready for us to patch, but let's go ahead and take a look first the data movement. And as you can see, the customers right here is one database that the database uh, the database movement has been suspended. So let's go ahead and resume data movement. Click OK. All right. So let's go to the primary of this. Um, this is CLT02. Take a look on AG3, if AG3 is working fine for us, and it is definitely the primary. As you can see, AG3 is primary. Let's take a look on the database health. Customer is connected, everything is okay. So let's go ahead and patch CLT01. This is 02. I'm gonna close this because I am in CLT01. So I'm gonna close this too. So let's go ahead and run our patch. I have basically distributed this patch among all the replicas that uh, is in question that is involved in this demo. So I have done this much work ahead of time to save some time. Click yes and our patch is being installed. Click close. I'm going back to SQL Server Management Studio. Connect and check all the secondary replicas that were on this, uh, I'm sorry, secondary availability groups. Let's connect with CLT1 as well. And SQL UAT. All right, let's take a look on availability groups. Everything is still secondary. And let's take a look on the databases. Marketing is fine. Customers is fine. And let's go ahead and take a look on the production side, um, primary side of these databases, these availability groups. So let's go ahead and take a look on uh, CLT01 and TBS SQL UAT. So we're going to go ahead and open availability groups, check all availability groups if they are all okay. Everything looks fine on this server. Let's check on this one. Everything looks fine on this server. Just so that you know when you uh, move and update and everything, you do wanna make sure that uh, your application gets connected. I don't have apl any application basically connecting to these uh, uh, databases, but uh, I just, I'm going by database health if database is online. So most likely if your database um, is online and everything is okay, your application shouldn't have any issue because we're not changing anything from the host side, just applying some patches or updating um, the replicas. So uh, we have completed CLT02, CLT01. Now what we're going to do is, um, if you take a look up here, on CLT01, we, we are going to uh, fail this AG3 and make it primary, as you can see. And we want to make sure again that after failing over everything works fine. All right, let's close this and it has become become primary. Let's go and this is CLT02, so we're going to connect with CLT02 and make sure that 
um, AG3, refresh AG3, and the database is right here. It's suspended, so we're going to go ahead and resume the movement, data movement. All right. So everything looks fine for CLT02 and CLT01. Now this is the last replica for us to patch or update and we're going to follow the same steps in order to patch this up. So let's go ahead and look at the availability groups. As you can see, one is primary. So right now it's not our candidate to apply patches. We're gonna go ahead and right click on the uh, availability group, which is primary, fail over that primary to its secondary so that this will free this will free up for us to uh, apply patches or updates click next all right ag1 became secondary so let's go ahead and resume the database movement if it's suspended, let's refresh this and it is suspended. Let's resume that. Okay. Now, this um, uh, TBS SQL UAT, SQL UAT, this has become, uh, this is part of my cluster basically, but uh, I took that out and just for this demo purposes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, a remote into node 2 and apply that patch and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make AG1 uh, primary again and see if everything is working okay so Let's go ahead and apply the patch. On this one, let's go ahead and um, move our, let me check which one was that. So availability, AG1. Let's go ahead and fail over AG1 to its previous primary. click close go to CLT 01 and this is let's go ahead and refresh and AG1 let me check that where uh, this is the primary AG1 let me take a look on the secondary this is the secondary AG1 let's go ahead and resume the database movement All right, so everything really looks okay, and uh, we have passed all the replicas. Again, let me go back to the scenario we were discussing. So our main focus was to update, uh, apply Windows patches on replica 1, replica 2, replica 3, but our main hurdle was that on replica 1, we had two availability groups, AG1 and AG2, and that uh, was primary and secondary. And one thing that is best practice, and we shouldn't uh, update or patch uh, any primary replica first. So we had to make this secondary everything all the availability groups should be secondary on any replica that you uh, patch and these are uh, real high level uh, points and um, I have we we went through the demo all we did was basically make um, every one of these replicas secondary and patch uh, uh, that per particular replica and then we move ahead and that's how basically you patch if you have multiple availability groups uh, in SQL Server and I hope this demo helps